right back on the hunt i have not been hunting in over a week guys so yes yeah, so i'm happy to be back um, we're gonna go to some targets tonight looking for mix 37 and whatever we can find maybe at some walmart's always got to check there they always surprise me because you know i collect more than just monster jam they always get other die casts i like what do we have here it looks like i have not missed much unless they did get 37 and they've just already rolled off it looks like they've got some 2025 two packs here and i guess i don't really need anything from that i mean there's that scorpedo it's really all oh they did get 2025 trucks too and they have the dozen uh what is this called the dozen delivery this came out a couple of years ago i'm glad they re-released it because i actually never got it so we have that we need the pure muscle of really gotta go and the bigfoot so let's see what we got here there's that five alarm unimog we'll trash it all steer clear and seems like that is a bust on that other than this dozen delivery not too bad i guess for the first stop i know those 2025 hot wheels monster trucks are hitting so hopefully we can find some more there's a five blow next door let's see if we can find the power smashers bigfoot i doubt it but someone has been finding that bigfoot power smasher at five below so might as well give it a shot five below let's see if they got them they did have the power smashers last time uh am i missing something no i'm not they had the power smashers last time actually um i don't know i guess they all got bought but they didn't have the bigfoot that's for sure this is that case old old case two pack hot wheels that's new no monster trucks i'll look around because there's no way this is the only one because that's a good truck i don't know how that's a peg warmer all right let's do another target here about 10 minutes up the road we have a few more but this one sometimes surprises me usually the first one they go to is a little better well definitely won't be surprising me today mystery mutters are on sale the mutters are on sale that's fine i figured it will they will go on sale soon enough only one mutter that being iron man that's all there is to know i mean they have the new five pack they have the nine pack not even the newest uh minis yeah this one's not usually the best but i mean obviously we're gonna check it if we're going past and uh sometimes they have another section over here new product at the walmart they have the mini packs looks like they got some series 36 i doubt there's a chase like where are the odds of that yeah it looks like a more fresh mix they have series one of the marvel still astro night storm dragon tempest Rot Ryler, and then they have this mix here which would have the treasure hunt because i see sneaker head so i'd have the monster high treasure hunt but i don't see it there's the skyline and uh that's all nothing else everything else is empty or old anyways let's see what we got at this one and same dozen delivery there's the pure muscle a little bit more oh the big foot yes 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 thank gosh okay we need the guy to go that's gonna be a popular one i know the kids like that one but um you know what at least we got the bigfoot um i could really care less about the gotta go i still do want to get it and i uh, may as well get this i don't know review the two pack as well um a scorpedo's new that's the only reason i would get it we have series two of the marvel we have the mystery mutters only two Mystery Mutters, one of, oh no, just two Iron Man's, not one of each. Uh, championship Series. This place is a mess, so that last one could be hiding here somewhere, uh, but I doubt it. Well, I'm glad I found that. I didn't really think I was going to find much uh, tonight because, well, it's nighttime and usually don't have the best luck. Rest in peace of that card. Good lord. Um, Let me look around, just see if one's hiding somewhere that got to go. I doubt it, but I'm always down to check real quick. And I'll just see you guys at the next door, probably, if I don't see anything. All right, this is the target I found, the Mix 35 Shipper S. So it's done some good for me. I don't think it will tonight, but let's see. We got mutters, new double pack. Man, they're everywhere, I guess. Uh, they do not have the 2025 trucks here, actually. No, no signs of it at all. It doesn't look like they've even gotten it in general. So that's kind of a best. Well, final target of the night. Will we find that last truck we need The really got to go? we really do have to go <laughs> they are closing in like 
15 20 minutes we still have walmart to go to next door I had to stop recording because of course there was someone looking at the trucks right as i pull up but guys we lucked out because look and i didn't even know they made this truck that's definitely a new truck scratch attack that's a new body or paint job definitely forgot about that and uh look another bigfoot pure muscle another bigfoot i need to get a second one of these i love this bigfoot i need one in package so we're gonna grab these three here well that was clutch you guys 10 46 final target of the night 15 minutes before they close we still got walmart over there to go to but man we got the whole series so i can review it all for you guys and not miss out anything look this walmart put two dumping worth of trucks into one this is the walmart i found 24 chases at now they only have one bin and now it's actually out in the middle of the store where people can see it but obviously all the ghost crews are long gone just everything else from 35 boom we are back home guys with some 2025 hot wheels mouse trucks we got a total of six trucks tonight guys not bad for my first hunt back out since you know i had a car accident last saturday it's monday now it's been like 10 days since i've been able to get out and hunt you guys know i hunt all the time so it's definitely been bothering me other than going to walmart once or twice i've done absolutely nothing um i've been trying to keep myself busy but i love going out and hunting and i have not been able to do that hopefully soon i can get back to doing it for right now we went to some stores tonight and we got some pretty cool stuff so with that said let's dive right into it why don't we we we're gonna take a look at scratch attack first now first i want to show you guys what we have what we're working with on the back here we have the really gotta go bigfoot pure muscle and the scratch attack for the new models we have five alarm unimog and the poppy or in the dozen delivery as re-releases so four new models four re-releases a very solid case but that is a really awesome re-release right there as i still needed that so we grabbed that tonight so you guys saw that was the first one we found and then we found the bigfoot and pure muscle at another target and then we found the really gotta go and scratch attack which i didn't even realize that was a new truck right there because usually the new models are displayed first and then the re-releases so since he was all the way down there it didn't catch my eye so we actually got five new trucks from this case that we needed today so let's take a look at the scratch attack first i know this isn't the first time we've gotten it new for 2025 but we've gotten this truck before just not in this color this color looks kind of cool it looks like leopard print maybe let's get it out of the box it's part of the beast bashers one out of five first 2025 truck cracked and we're still getting the same dumb accessory but whatever another year of those won't hurt right we've already gotten plenty of other years so here is the truck itself yeah it looks like leopard print i like the ears looks cool on the there's no texture on the actual leopard print we have the nose right here that's kind of cool that is textured the nose has like little ripples and bumps on it there's some freckles on the side or whiskers i should say not freckles and then there is a little 360 other truck i can't figure out what this part is this is a plastic piece but everything else is metal not a bad truck another animal themed truck not too big on the animal trucks but this one's done pretty well i guess i like the colors aren't too bad we have a bronze roll cage bronze wheels the wheels are a, br a bit uh, brighter than the the color on the roll cage and then a white base so there's that one now let's take a look at this truck here this is a pretty plain looking truck honestly it looks like a type of truck that we'd see in the like in a play set like a play set exclusive it's pretty bland but this is pure muscle which i do like pure muscle i like this old chevy body i believe uh really cool kind of like an old square body i'm not really sure if it qualifies as a square body i just like this type of body style but take a second to appreciate the new card for this year that looks really really awesome so this is part of the haphazards one out of four let's get it out this one has a green crushable station wagon car whatever here is the pure muscle glad to see 2025 trucks already hidden good to know that hot wheels still is on top of their game unlike someone else while we're still struggling to find like the fourth mix of this year for spin master we're already finding the first mix of 2025 for hot wheels and we are in the beginning of november not too shabby hot wheels is usually on their game usually end of october early november is when you uh see this um they're always on their game so as you can see on the hood here it kind of goes from like a darker blue to a lighter blue now you guys won't really know what i mean maybe unless you get the truck or if i show you in the correct lighting but those are all ripples those are all like 3d textures like i want to run my finger and let, let me see if you can hear it i don't know if you can really hear it but it's like rippled there's like dots on the truck and you can kind of see in certain lighting that is really cool they've never done anything like that before uh we have a purple grill which is kind of neat as well and here's the side more purple cool design is very 3d like you can really feel the detail on this truck guys this is a truck i definitely recommend getting it's cool color and uh yeah like the, the graphics feel really really cool on this like they're very like 3d feeling pretty cool with hot wheels logo 
Uh, the purple beadlocks and everything else is the normal simple colors like that. Um, I always love seeing that. How about we do the dozen delivery? I saved this for kind of towards the end. Well, this is like the middle and I didn't open this at first, even though it's the only re-release because this truck is so, so cool. This used to be like a $20 truck. It probably isn't now because now that it's doing it, you know, making its second release, it's not going to be as expensive, but this has got pretty expensive. I almost bought one off whatnot loose and then it went up to like $20. And I was like, holy crap, is it really this much? I checked eBay and sure is a quite expensive truck but again this was a few months ago i don't know about now that was before we knew this was coming out this year so i'm so glad i didn't buy it for that price we have it here guys always be patient always just wait it out you'll find one for a better price than you think and uh yeah let's get it out of the box this is part of the snack pack one out of six this is the dozen delivery so this was a truck I believe came out in 2021. I think towards the end of 2021 because I kind of had trouble finding everything um, around that time. I still need that red 909. I needed the uh, Bionic Bruiser for a minute. I finally got that. Now we have this. So I still need that red 909. And then I think I'll be good for 2021, at least when it comes to non-treasure hunt related. Uh, but here's the dozen delivery. I love the school bus. This was really cool. I know it took them like three years for them to make it again. And I had to be patient, but you know, it does pay off. So we have the little stop sign on the tailgate. It says donuts at the bottom. I love the, all the cool bright colors. Pretty fun. The pink Hot Wheels logo on the on, above the window. On the top here, we have a big pa uh, pink uh, panel. And it says Hot Wheels again. And it says I Heart Donuts. Pretty cool. That is really awesome. Awesome detailing. Dozen delivery on the side. Hot Wheels logo. Love the cool blue side panels and the blue stripes. A white bus, obviously, and a cool, really cool chrome grill. And then we have like this, like, I don't know, like a cream color maybe on the tires. White wheels and uh, the cool donut look glazed with sprinkles on the tires on the side there. That is really cool on the walls. And then a pink beadlock. This is a really awesome truck, guys. Another one I highly recommend picking up. Glad they re-released it. Doesn't mean the value will go down on the truck, honestly. This is a really cool truck. And if it's not in stores that long, it could remain a pretty pricey truck. Now let's take a look at the, the new models, I guess. We got the recolors and the re-releases. Here's the new model, guys. Here's the first one. This is the really gotta go. Now this truck has came out as a Hot Wheel, um, just a normal Hot Wheels car. I got it. It was actually a treasure hunt like one or two years ago. I got the treasure hunt of it. I'm talking about the $1 car, obviously. Now they made it a monster truck. That's really cool. Um, I know Potty Central is getting pretty popular. It's popular with like kids and stuff when you're potty training them and stuff um i guess they like it and uh they're gonna like this one too kind of probably probably why it was a little harder to find than some of the others like the bigfoot and the, the dozen delivery and stuff we had to go to like five targets until we found this one but we also had to go to that until we found the scratch attack too which i didn't really understand but you know what whatever let's open it also i forgot to mention it's part of the back to basics line one out of six so let's get this out the blue crushable car that we don't care about so the debut of this truck it is going to be a green fantasy hot wheels kind of looks like an old like semi truck type of look and then obviously they have a customized rear end to make it look like a toilet and you can lift the lid uh, just like the hot wheels car very cheap feeling feels very breakable so just so you guys know uh that might be a breakable piece right there if you lift up too hard the kid could definitely break it apart if you guys have kids and they're gonna be playing with it be careful of that but this is a plastic piece this part the green part is metal and the, all the white that you see is plastic we have a green base black roll cage white wheels black tires and that is the really gotta go now finally let's look at the big foot i actually got two um that second target had two in itself so i got one there and then obviously when we found it originally that other one i grabbed one so i still left one at that last target um and here they are this is the power wheels bigfoot leading legends one out of seven so that's pretty promising hopefully we'll get a lot of licensed trucks like uh the uh snake bite we're getting like we're getting a, like a dark red maroon color snake bite uh in a month or two so that'll be probably part of the leading legends line too and there's still five left in this line so legends makes it sound like bigfoot themed trucks which is really awesome that we're getting a decent amount here's the first one of the year this is the power wheels trophy truck bigfoot red crushable car obviously if you guys didn't catch on i bought two to keep one in package that's all and here it is the long awaited power wheels bigfoot we got this in 124 scale quite some time ago and we finally have it in 164 and i can tell you guys this thing looks amazing we have the bigfoot 50 with the tire on the top that is a really cool logo a really nice touch glad they added that the flames on the hood and the grill right there so neat 
the flames going all along the hood and the side the bigfoot the power wheels logo firestone hot wheels and then the hot wheels monster truck logo beside the window there the summit logo and then the bigfoot logo once again with a cool white orange and yellow stripe on the tailgate white wheels kept it very plain this is honestly one of my favorite bigfoots that they have released this thing is awesome an awesome addition to my bigfoot collection i have every single bigfoot released from hot wheels monster trucks other than the color changers bigfoot that is currently out i've seen it at my local walmart i do not want to spend 20 dollars on the two other trucks that um i think i already have because it's in a three pack but i may have to pull the trigger soon because that's the only one i'm missing and i don't want to miss out on it and have to pay more online so with that said thank you guys so much for watching i'll show you guys what we opened up today obviously keeping that other bigfoot in the package there it is really neat and we have the loose one in there so thanks for watching please like comment and of course subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out